guys, John Coast Mason R&D. Well, today we're over here at the mill, and we have a little project we're going to be doing here for ourselves. Uh, this is going to be so that we can put some X19 CV joints in the 850 sedan, and we're going to have to take and make up some axles. And we've got a, an axle that we cut off here, and what we used to do was take and weld these into the other Volkswagen axle. Now we're going to try and make it all one piece and to do that we're going to have to cut a spline on the end of a piece of material uh, because the spline goes in here if I can get it in here there we go goes in there snap there's a snap ring in there normally and it snaps it into place so it won't come out well, I've already cut one so I could kind of figure my depth out and um, it goes in there just fine and we've got a piece of aluminum here on the machine right now that we're going to show you how to do it uh, this is a pretty easy project if you have an index head and you're going to need a 90 degree cutter because uh, splines have a 90 degree uh, included angle. So the uh, index head, you're going to have to turn this thing two full turns, the handle two full turns, go back to the same spot and uh, that way you'll get 20 splines on your shaft. There's uh, more to an index head than just uh, 20 uh, splines. Uh, you can see all the different holes here. Well, depending on the actual number of divisions you need, you have to have different plates. You have to set up the uh, sector arm here. Our sector arms to uh, give you so many turns and so many holes. And if you want to find out a little bit more about this, look at my turret mill book uh, that I wrote and there's a whole diagram in there so let's get started here we've uh, taken our material and we've cut it down to 20 millimeters and 22 millimeters I believe and uh, so we're going to be taking and uh, cutting our splines I've written a uh, simple one line uh, program for this and um, basically it's uh, beginning at X in zero uh, we're going to go 48 and a half thousandths down in Y our Z is going to be zero, Z begin is going to be zero uh, we're going to make the splines an inch and a half long so you see X is ending at inch and a half and we're going to wind up in the same place in Y uh, 48 and a half thousandths. Again, Z0, Conrad 0, center of the tool. We're going to run this about 150 RPM. We may play with this a little bit for the aluminum shaft here. And we've got our feed rate set at 5, and we may be able to jump that up a little bit more with the aluminum. So it's a pretty simple little program, one line, like I say. So we go over here to run. And before we do that, let's go over here to setup. In a reference position to up to that zero. Return. Okay, I'll come back over here and go run. Start. Okay, uh, start to scroll. Try and get this all framed for you so you can see what we're actually doing. Put a little bit of oil on here. And now if we had a CNC rotary indexer or rotary table, we could program the machine to rotate itself. As it is right now, we have to turn this one two and that's it Two. 
once you have the tools, this is a relatively simple job. I must say, I was surprised at how quickly this here came in. When you're uh, turning your index head, you uh, got to pay attention. Uh, you can't just idly crank it and, uh, and uh, figure that's going to be it. You have to figure this out, and it has to be exact. I would suggest that you uh, try and figure out how deep you need to make your splines. This one here is about 48 and a half thousandths. Um, but that was after a bit of a couple of cuts uh, to uh, see where we were. Could we cut this a lot faster? Sure. Uh, you know, it's just aluminum, but I want to show you kind of how this would actually run out in steel. Could you uh, feed this in by hand? Absolutely. When I was teaching in the classroom, I used to have my students make a gear for a Gilmer belt, Gilmer belt drive. And, uh, it had to be, I believe, 22 teeth, and uh, it was a nice project to learn about the index head.
themselves focused in here. stretch. Like this is going to be our last two. out and see if it fits. That looks nice. like we need to uh, make a small adjustment on the aluminum uh, may have to go in a little bit deeper but I think as you can see here you get the idea and uh, basically that's how you cut splines it's not real difficult but again you got to have the have the pieces John Costa Mace R&D we'll see you soon